Red, white, and blue. Colors that unite us as a country. But some say that's not the case right now. Well, you feel fear. I mean, that's the whole point of it, right? In fear of retaliation, the people we spoke to wanted to keep their identities hidden. They say they've seen and experienced things in Albuquerque that make them feel threatened and unsafe. And it promoting violence towards people that are struggling to have the same rights as everybody else. Over the Halloween weekend, this car was spotted in the parking lot of Walmart on Carlisle. Fake blood, the silhouette of a person, and the words, R.I.P. protester. They don't want us out there. That was a warning. And over the weekend, an incident report says a woman holding a Trump sign was attacked at a Walgreens in Los Ranchos. She was left with bumps, scrapes, and bruises, and even sent to the hospital. <laughs> In recent days, acts of violence have been all over the country from supporters on both sides. Texas, New York, even here in New Mexico. And I actually almost twisted my ankle whenever I was in the protests because somebody almost hit us. Voters say the political climate has changed and it's no longer just Republicans versus Democrats or liberals versus conservatives. Everybody has the right to believe how they want politically, like that's not the problem. Many voters are hoping after election day, they can get back to being united just as we were before. Everybody is a human being. It's really just as simple as that. Shelley Leggett reporting, KOAT Action 7 News.